Hello, I taught at Clark County School District last year at an elementary school called Treme Elementary. I have become a whistleblower against this school and all of Clark County School District. I, would only, I was only there for th uh, three days because on the third day, the principal, the vice principal, and head of the ARL program walked into my room and told myself and my teacher's assistant that we were going to change the grades for the report card that's going to be coming out in only two days. <clears throat> they even told us how we were going to do it. And myself and my teacher's aide did not want to do this. So what I did is I took off for a uh, period of time to watch over my mother while I also went to the union and told them what they wanted us to do. I also showed my first, my second grade supervisor and all the other teachers what they wanted me to do. They informed me that they knew that the substitute teacher that was there before me had talked to them and showed them all these grades and tests and they were all D's and F's. Now how they wanted to cheat the grades and all what they told us that we needed to do, they were going to look at all the tests, look at all the workbooks, and see if they could find some questions that they actually got right. Because this class started off in the first of the year, and just two months later, which a substitute was teaching at that time, and there was nothing but D's or F's. Let me show you. These are the grades I'm talking about. One out of 15, zero percent. Three out of 15, zero percent. 0% and all of them are just like that. Now what they did is they have a little thing, uh, a little software uh, where they use to change the grades. Done very simple. Let me show you what this looks like. And when you get those grades of 0% and 8% uh, they're going to look like this and what it says here is they got an F of course and in the box, the sub uh, said they had to bring it up just to get an F, and their score was a 1. They also always brought to a minimum of an F, scored a 2, brought to a minimum of an F, scored a 1, brought to a minimum of an F, and it goes on and on and everything. So what they did is they used a computer system. Now, it's all in the computer where they did layers of a transient uh, grade sheet this blank and it flies over and puts it on the regular testing and they do sheets and see sheets like that and then what they do is put in those hundreds and everything on those blank sheets I just showed you over the original test and they come out with hundreds and A's and B's well, let me show you that so when you put all those layers on top of that one test page they were going to look like this, like a little crossword puzzles and all. Why? Because they have different uh, test papers on there, blank ones and then original. Then they go ahead and print it with all these little pretties A's and B's. Then once they finish doing that somewhere down the line in the next month and everything where they can actually hope that these kids can bring the grades up to those grades they're showing hundreds and everything like that, and everything. It takes about a month or two and all. Then they'll sit there and go back and take those little layers off and you'll have the original test paper and all. See, but what happens is a lot, they think that they're untouchable. That's how Clark County does. The teachers are like that. Not all the teachers, the administrations, excuse me, are like that. And a lot of us, some teachers and all. And what happens is uh, once they do that, they'll go back to where they first started at. Example, this class, they went back all the way to the first day of uh, class, their first test, and they changed all those where they would slowly build up and everything 
to where they got to those A's and B's. And the worst part of it, they used my computer and my pass codes. So they actually wanted me to take the blunt of this, and I wouldn't do it. My teacher's assistant wouldn't do it. And because of that, <clears throat> they uh, retaliated on me. They gave me fake observations. But I was only there for two weeks and all. And I would not grade none of these fake tests or anything. In fact, the head of the ARL department, the vice principal and the principal, kept asking me to do that. I would not do that. So what I did is I showed all this to my second grade supervisor. She was the head of the second grade chair. She, she was uh, very upset about it. In fact, uh, I went ahead and left that Friday and went to go talk to my union about it. And they recommended me take a leave of absence, which I did. Well, the day I left, my supervisor went and talked to the principal and the vice principal of Trim Elementary, and they just laughed at her, pointed their finger at her, and said, you go back to your room, mind your own business, we'll take care of the whistleblower's room. So my second grade chair, and she was very upset about it, all the other second grade teachers saw it and everything, because she told them, we know what you did of the whistleblower's classroom. She was very upset of them uh, doing this and changing the grades. Now, when I left, they made the second grade chair and one other uh, uh, second grade teacher actually continue to copy and find some tests where they make good grades. And it was hard to find it, so what they did is they just kept making tests over and tests over until these kids actually learned it, and they called that their grades and all. So what I did is me and my uh, uh, union members watched them day by day put in those fake grades even the days I was not there, like I was the one doing this and all. Me and my union went and talked to head of the Clark County School District a secret meeting that was on a Friday. By that Monday, everybody in that school knew about it, even though it's supposed to be a secret meeting and all. And we told them what would happen, what was happening. All they did was transfer me to another school. They did not tell the uh, parents. They did not tell the uh, students uh, that they had changed their grades or even put it back. And Clark County School District knew this for two months and never did an investigation from the first day or any of that. Now, I have over five and six witnesses. They never interviewed them whatsoever. I asked them at all. So what happened and everything? That I went through the whole school year. In fact, well, my union asked me if I had copies of those fake tests and the real ones. I did. They did not even have these kids real tests from the October from the beginning of the school. That's two months. They didn't have the grades because they'd all been changed and everything. They didn't even call the first substitute. She knew they had nothing but apps and everything. In fact, she quit testing them for a whole month because all they come up with Fs. Told the ARL teacher and told the teacher's assistants and also the vice principal knew all this. So I think this is all planned and everything. When I came over there, I was uh, on my probation year of my ARL. I, was also, I also have ADHD, so I know that they was discriminating against this and everything. Now, my union cannot furnish me a lawyer because they don't do civil. What I'm asking now is to find a lawyer that will take my case. And I also want a class action lawsuit against the school and the, t and the uh, principal, vice principal, and the ARL, who also teaches an ARL class in UNLV. So I want a class action suit for them, for the parents, and also their parents and all. Now, if you would have seen these little kids, when they got that fake report card, talking and jumping out up and down how excited they were that they had A's and B's for the first time in their life and everything. Now, while all this was going on, my mother was dying <clears throat> my mother was dying in my living room. <sighs> 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 <sighs>
and I had to take care of her. <laughs> Every day, and she would always ask me if, if what was going on in school, did they stop doing stuff and all like that, and she was doing it all the way to her last breath. <laughs> So no, it was I uh, dealing with that. I was having to, <clears throat> having to go to school and go through all this stuff and everything with these teachers at this school and what they were doing to me and all. Now I'd like to have investigation from an outside source, because I've been to five out of six schools that had this fake stuff that they put on and changed grades. Five out of six schools. And when I asked somebody what it was about, I asked some teachers that had been teaching there at least 10 years or more, and they said it's been going on ever since they've been there. So they've been cheating at least for 10 years. Can you imagine what the real grades would look like in all of Clark County School District and all, if they were ever checked. And if they've been doing it this long, believe me, there's a lot of teachers, principals, administration that's using this and all. Five different schools, and, and I've had every one of these teachers tell me, you better put that down, throw it away. You could use your license if you ever did this. Well, guess what? The principal, vice principal, ARL teacher, they didn't lose their license or anything. So I want the Department of Education out in Washington, D.C. I want uh, the Assistant General of the West Coast to intervene on this, and I would like to have a complete investigation for the last 10 years. Also, I have a GoFund started. To try to help me with a lawyer because all the teachers who want to speak, they say the Clark County District is very corrupt. And this is what this is what my mother would want me to do. And if I find a lawyer, I want to have a jury trial. And I've got plenty of more evidence, and I want them to talk to my all of my five or uh, five and six uh, witnesses. They're willing to testify as long as they're protected. So I'm reaching out to a GoFund to fight them because I think it's happened all across America because it's even been in New York. Even a principal was cheating, changing grades out there. I'm looking to take care of the kids, the parents, and I'm also doing this for the good teachers. And by the way, in just the last three years, Clark County School District has been sued over 150 times. I've got about 12 pages of nothing but lawsuits. Lawsuits because of how they are. Again, I hope Washington, D.C., the Department of Education, reaches out and does something. Again, all these are allegations. However, this has been documented uh, with the Clark County School District when we supposedly had our secret meeting. And just to go over this, Clark County School District, just in the last three years, again, has over 150 lawsuits. 150 lawsuits. Also, to go over the grades they started with, all of them had to be brought up to a minimum of Fs just to be able to make Fs and all. And of course, they use their little secret thing there to be able to change the grades. I'm a whistleblower against the Clark County School District. I stand for the students, the parents, and the good teachers and all. We need this stopped. We need administrations gone. Again, I'd like for the Department of Education in Washington, D.C. Uh, also, 
the assistant general, all these people to do a separate investigation against the Clark County School District. Thank you very much. I'm the whistleblower. Thank you.